The Sharp Edge on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Mazek Seeds. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to another episode of The Sharp Edge. I am in Arthur, Ontario today, catching up with Adam Parker, Mazix agronomist. How's it going? Very well, Bern. Hey, we are at Shaw Ridge Farms here today, and we're going to talk to Matthew Musselman. And I have a question for you. Why is Shaw Ridge and Matthew Musselman on The Sharp Edge? Well, they have a large operation here, and they need to cover a lot of acres in the season. Matthew is primarily responsible for spraying all those acres. So how do you get one guy to cover a lot of acres? You use this rig here to keep that sprayer going. So this trailer is a 50-foot trailer. It has 10,000 gallons of water capacity. It has an automatic mix mate that helps them mix chemical and do it accurately. So at the end of the day, they can get a lot of acres covered, and uh, one man can do most of it by himself. Awesome. Let's talk tender with Matthew Musselman. Hey Matt, good to have you here. Do you want to tell us a little bit about Shaw Ridge Farms and your role? Well, Shaw Ridge Farms is a large cash crop and uh, commercial grain elevator located in Arthur, Ontario. And I am the, uh, the sprayer operator for the farming operation here. So in an uh, average season, uh, do you want to tell us a little bit what you do? So during our cropping season, I primarily am responsible for the spraying. We run upwards of 40,000 acres um, that we're trying to get across during our spraying season here. So are you doing that mostly yourself with one sprayer? That, the majority of that is done with one sprayer, yes. And you want to tell us a little bit about your sprayer? So we're currently running a John Deere R4060, uh, 1600 gallon tank with 120 foot wide booms on it. So in order to get that all done, I'm assuming you're going to need some logistics behind you. So do you want to talk about the, this rig that you're standing beside? So this is our, our primary uh, spray tender. It's a 50 foot uh, five axle trailer um, with 10,000 gallons of, uh, of water capa carrying capacity and the ability to have up to five, uh, five different chemical products on the trailer at any one time as well. So as far as uh, the, the pumps and all the plumbing on it, what, uh, what's the capacity on that? So our, our load system, it's all run off the, when needed, run off the hydraulics of the truck. Um, we can load the trailer in under 30 minutes, about 25 minutes to load the trailer. And then the same thing, um, offloading it. It's all plumbed with four inch plumbing um, to kind of future proof the, you know, as the equipment expands and we want to do more, we built it to, uh, to do that as well. And uh, as far as the chemical mixing system, probably the heart of this machine, what's, the, what's the, the basics on that? So our mixing system, we opted to go with the Peraxidine MixMate uh, system. It's an automated chemical mixing system that allows us to input prescriptions into, into the computer and just send those out to the operators in the field there's no questioning the math on, on mixing them. Everything is done from the, the tablet on, on the mixing system. So what else does that MixMate system allow you to do? Does it, uh, does it make the rates for you? Does it keep records? So from, from that standpoint, it, it will adjust. We tell it the number of acres and the rate per acre as far as our solution that we want to spray. It does all the calculations for us. The prescriptions are pre-programmed, the rate. So if we're aiming for a liter and a half of, of Roundup per acre, and I tell it so many gallons per acre, this is the gallons that I want to put on that fill, it will automatically adjust the total number of gallons on there. And then it also records all that information, when the mixes were mixed, who mixed them, and where it was, where it was supposed to go so that we've got that to track as we go forward here, tracking any chemical on fields, um, any questions about what was sprayed, when it was sprayed, how much, that is all recorded into a cloud-based cloud system. So Matt, why don't you walk me through a normal load procedure and uh, let's just pretend the sprayer pulls right up right now. So I pull up in the sprayer, I climb out, I grab this arm here, it's our load command arm on the John Deere sprayer. I connect it, I climb up into the the structure of the house here on the trailer um, and hit start on our on our tablet on our mixing system and from there the bulk chemicals are pulled automatically in any product that comes in a jug i am pouring those into the the hopper um, inductor hopper where they are all weighed recorded um, rinse the jugs and then on to the next one 
And as far as drawing that product on, are you using the, is there a pump on the trailer or are you using the sprayer pump? The, the sprayer has, with the load command system, a dedicated pump to fill, to fill the, the sprayer from the trailer. So there's no, no pumps running on the truck. So in that case, does the truck need to be attached to the trailer? Like, will you use the trailer and park it on a, in a yard somewhere and draw off of it? We park the trailer. We usually leave the truck on it just simply for the weight on the, with the, the large tanks, the weight, we don't want to leave that weight on the landing gear. But we can park the truck there and it doesn't have to run um, during the day to, to load the sprayer. Is there any other goodies that you have on this trailer that we can't see? So we actually carry, in order to make the machine, the, the system a single operator, we actually carry enough diesel fuel to keep the sprayer running every day I'm able to fuel up at the end of the night. We're not worried about running out of fuel or having somebody we have to pull away from another operation to, to bring fuel um, to the sprayer. Does this trailer service any UAN in the spring? We don't do any UAN with this. We, the capacity on it was built for water. Um, to load the trailer with UAN, we would be exceedingly overweight. So we, we have uh, stainless steel tankers dedicated to, to UAN um, application in the spring. So, Matt, this trailer has been allowed you to be very productive. Can you talk about some of the, the efficiencies that you've gained in the operation, load times, how much idle time you've reduced? So we actually, when we built this spray, uh, this trailer, we ended up uh, cutting our load times down. We run between five and eight minutes from the time I pull up um, with the sprayer until I am backing away from the, the tender again to fill that 1,600 gallons. Um, we've cut our idle time on the sprayer because we're not pumping any chemical into an induct into a hopper to measure it. Um, our idle time has gone from about 35% of engine hours on the first year without this trailer, and we're now down to year over year we're running 12 to 15% um, of the engine hours on the machine or idle time now. So, uh, a big reduction in in that non-productive time with our sprayer. So Matt, you've had this trailer three years. If you were able to redo it again, or you want to tell somebody if they are going to start out on this venture, what would be a few things you'd either change or do differently uh, next time? Um, I guess the big one that I would change is I would love for it to be on a, on a step deck trailer. Just get everything closer to the ground. The stairs can get, you do, you do a lot of stairs over the course of the spring. If I could eliminate a few of those, that would be great. Just a lot of the little things. Um, we're constantly upgrading the trailer. We've gone from manual valves on the tanks to air act actuated valves, so there's a lot less walking to turn tanks on and off. Just a few little things like that. I would have loved to have been able to go to elect um, electric power, put a generator on the trailer, and electric powered pumps as opposed to the hydraulic ones. Then the trailer could really be self-contained. Right now we're dedicated to having the truck on there just to make sure we have the hydraulics. So those are, those are a few of the things I would change um, if I was starting over again. So there you have it. Adam, when I look at this trailer, I see a, an amazing setup and some incredible productivity. Yeah, these guys have thought it through. It's not their first trailer. They've about the third generation that they really worked on it. But at the end of the day, it's well designed. It's very efficient in a lot of capacity. So at the end of the day, they can get a lot of productivity out of that trailer with one man who is able to run the sprayer and make this uh, tender unit service that sprayer and keep it going and get a lot of acres covered in a day. Another great episode of the Sharp Edge. Thanks, Adam. We'll see you next time. Uh -huh.